AWS announced AWS Private 5G. I think it's named exactly that, AWS Private 5G, simple name. And what it is is that essentially you now have the ability, it's in preview, uh, so with, you have the ability to order basically a private 5G network, uh, well, maybe 4G LTE, but essentially a 5G network uh, for your use as an enterprise direct uh, from Amazon. So from AWS console uh, all through an API, you can procure uh, starting, I guess, today, start a kit uh, with a certain number of SIMs uh, and a small cell radio unit that they'll ship to you. Um, and you can power it up. It, it connects to the core in, in region. So AWS region will actually host a core. Um, and you essentially have a private network on CBRS spe spectrum. So right now, it only serves the U.S. market, uh, shared spectrum, obviously, CBRS, but with other regions apparently to follow. Um, and beyond that, they provide option or expansion options, I guess you can order more radio units as you see fit, more SIMs as you see fit. Um, and the option to have a small form factor outpost, which was previously announced, but hasn't GA'd yet. And we expect that that should probably GA uh, this time around or soon. Uh, but a small form factor 2RU outpost that you can have locally if so, you so desire. So that's the that's a big announcement. And it's big in the sense that historically AWS has, AWS has been involved in private networks, so it's not the first time they uh, partners with Verizon, for instance, on their private network um, offerings, um, uh, providing AWS Outpost for hosting some of the, the key elements there. And they've done other trials with other partners as well. But this marks the first time that AWS has a network offering for the enterprise market, direct to enterprises, or in conjunction with their CSP communication service provider partners as well. There's a couple of other significant things with the announcement. One is that there is no per device charge. So SIMs are essentially free. You order as many SIMs as you like or within reasonable limits, obviously. Um, and they don't charge uh, for the SIMs. Um, and the other thing is it's pay-as-you-go pricing as well. So it's on-demand, no upfront cost. So it's, it's truly a, a, an on-demand model. Um, the other element is that the way they price is not, as I said, based on devices but it's based on two things. One is the number of radio units that you have, and two is the Mexican maximum configured throughput for the system. So it, it, does, it doesn't go you know, by the bit or the byte, but it's based on the maximum configured throughput of the system. It, that, that's the way it gets charged. I, I don't know anything yet about you know, minimum commitment, you know, the ceiling of flaws to the throughput that probably will come out later, but it is an innovative pricing model, that one that I haven't seen the telcos be a, as aggressive on yet, and it's closer to an enterprise Wi-Fi model. That we've seen some of the private wireless startups, like you know, Solona Systems, for instance, uh, have gone down that path. And this is uh, this is extremely simplified pricing, which should appeal to the enterprises. In in many ways, this is significant because it's the first time you know hyperscale is going direct to the enterprise with an offering. And obviously, you know, they have the ability to bring in a CSP partners if people require more RF planning or more sophisticated solutions. Uh, but you know, when, when asked in the, in the analyst session that we spoke with them you know, on is they did this in response to the customer requirements, the customer demands for a simple, easy to deploy private wireless solution that did not require upfront capital expenses. And that in many ways actually coincides with some of the things that we were hearing and we've covered in our private mobile networks report as well. It's, it's what we're hearing from the enterprises. They, they, ha they are interested in private 5G and even private 4G LTE. But the, 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 the amount of effort required right now, is, it's just too high. And so I think this is going to be interesting for sure. Um, and we'll, we'll be watching to see what happens and, and with the uptick.